What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK, Toronto Brother, Dr. Blue, the darkest man who rounded today, guys. I'm here with Vengeful Wilbur. Say hi to the people, man. What is good, bros and bras? And this is your boy, Venge, here. And I am very appreciative of the fact that Dr. Blake invited me to his channel yet again. It is always fun talking One Piece with my bro here, and it's an ultimate pleasure. So, yeah, thanks again, Blake. Yeah, no problem. It's always great to have you on the channel. And we're going to be discussing a very, very talked about topic. And a lot of people have been discussing it. Like, if you if you caught up to One Piece, you got to a certain stage in One Piece, you most likely thought about this at some point. And that is, is Luffy too young to become Pirate King? Obviously, we do know, like, with in due time, by the end of the series, Luffy would have accomplished that goal. But how old and what does Luffy have to experience in order to become Pirate King? Like, is he the right age? Like, what age you have to be? A lot of people say he has to be older. A lot of people say that he's... Some people say that he's fine. But the community is overall leaning towards the fact that Luffy needs to experience more. He needs to become a better leader. He, there's so many factors that people take into account when discussing this topic. So, Ben, I'm going to dive... Like, I'm going to give you a question. Okay. And this question is... Is Luffy too young to become... But yeah. <laughs> is Luffy too young to become Pirate King? And if he is... How old, like, what, what would he have to do in order to become Pirate King? Dude, like, to be ready? This is a very tough question because it can go one of two ways. There's people that feel that he can, and there's people that feel that he can at his current age. If you wanted to look at it in a more realistic standpoint, you would think that Luffy would have to be at a certain age to gain the kind of experience that is needed to actually become Pirate King. Because if you look at how things is progressing right now, Luffy has, even though he made a lot of um, huge accomplishments, and uh, he completed a lot of tasks that people deemed as impossible, he still had struggled through a lot of those. And then there were a lot of big fights where he actually got aid from his allies now i'm going to look at this in two different perspectives because honestly i can kind i'm kind of like 50 50 on the entire thing because usually if you think about it when you look at characters across the board from other franchises every character has their own way to reach a particular goal and if you look at a lot of the characters that doubt Luffy's ability to complete the task, one of the things that Luffy always said is he said that he cannot become Pirate King without his crew. So in other words, I feel like that there's a good probability that he could possibly become Pirate King at his current age because of the simple fact that there are so many things that he was able to do with his crew. He feels as though he cannot do it without them. If they were not there, chances are there might be a chance of him actually giving up on this quest because he believe in them and their quality so much. Um, especially since you look at a lot of the big fights, like I mentioned previously, Luffy gains some kind of assistance from somebody. Either it's someone in his crew or somebody that Luffy strongly influenced because of Luffy's Will of D, which I did a theory on a long time ago. Link will be in the description below. Man, they're plugging your video, bro. You get views. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it does, man, thank you so much in advance. I mean, I appreciate every little thing that people do for me and so yeah i really appreciate it and just to keep a long <laughs> story short when it comes to that theory about the will of d basically the will of d is more like the passing of somebody's will from one person to another in some cases it can be from generation to generation or it would just be maybe someone's will passing it on to someone that's not of their um they're not related by blood but they have such a strong influence on that person that they're still able to receive it and i will not go into a lot of detail about that because that would be too freaking long so i'll just put it to you this way 
the fact that Luffy obtained the will, I'm sure he obtained the will of both Ace and Gold D. Roger. Gold D. Roger passed, Gold D. Roger and his wife passed their will on to Ace, and upon Ace's passing, he passed on not only Ace's will, but I'm sure he also passed over Gold D. Roger and his mother's as well. And it's kind of, and if you follow the series from beginning to end, Luffy has an amazing ability, an ability that nobody else seems to have currently. The ability to just draw people in. He can make total strangers people that have no idea who he is people that just does not trust him because he is simply a pirate that they are willing to put their lives on the line and a very good example of this is towards the end of dress rosa when all of the citizens of dress rosa put their lives on the line to protect luffy from fujitora's devil fruit powers I'm going to forget one other thing as well. You forget one other major thing, bro. When Lord, when Lord, when Lord, when Lord, when Lord, like, oh help Luffy, God. bro. How, how, how he basically, oh, uh, Lord, like, when Luffy was about to drop a die, like, he, he, he shambles them to safety, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Did the King Kong on the end. Oh, my. <laughs> See, I knew you was going to do that, you law fan boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, how it is, bro. but, Continue. <laughs> but to be fair, you do have a point because there was a key segment in the, in the manga. I don't remember the chapter per Batum, like the actual number, but Do Flamingo and Treble, was it Treble? Did I get that right? Or I'm getting the names. Yeah, right yeah, so. that was the one that was with Do Flamingo when he was, um, fighting law or uh, like like trebles the guy that was always in the back okay so i was so, right yeah, much. this is so yeah. many people you have to remember when watching this series so basically they were going back and forth like treble told do flamingo to watch out for that sphere of influence and basically it's the influence of the will of d where in this case luffy put you know put you know influence law and Law is carrying on the will of Luffy unconsciously. At least that's how I see it. It's just this big influence. Like Law cares for Luffy enough to actually go in and provide the assist. And it's like they're trying to avoid getting ensnared by this power that is, I guess, that the celestial dragons fear because it's kind of like this power that involves fate if that's an accurate way to put it. So I'm just going to stop there. Okay. Um, like when it comes to my opinion of whether Luffy can, like, or whether he is too young, it's all about, um, it's all about a lot of things that you got to keep, keep in mind. From a story point standpoint, him progressing and aging as a character, quote unquote, builds up more attachment. It builds up more attachment because you see the character grow, like the ending of Naruto. You saw Naruto grow up, and then you finally see him realize himself, finally see him get his ideals. Luffy hasn't completely realized himself to the fullest extent. Characters like Naruto, he did that and he did that at older and later age. Like when he finally became Hokage, he was in his mid-twenties or some people can even argue late-twenties or bordering into thirties. So seeing the way he progressed and seeing that, it builds up attachment and it also builds up emotion. And based on the way Oda likes to do things, I know for a fact that he wants to build up emotion and like and seeing Luffy get older, seeing that um, he's learned a lot of things. Because bearing in mind, Luffy, even though he has had that time skip training, he is still naive to the point that this guy w is willingly aligned with pretty much anyone that's offered to align with him. So with all those stuff in mind, him learning from all those mistakes he made, him learning from all those obstacles that he experienced. Um, him progressing as a character for a story point standpoint is better and it makes more sense than him becoming Pirate King now The only question you got to ask that you got to ask yourself is what pace is One Piece gonna go at in terms of getting to where they need because they're already Borderline fighting people that are a Yonko level so you got to ask yourself where is Oda gonna take the story and where does it go from here? And like the major question which me and Benji are gonna save for another video is Will there be another time skip? You know what I mean? Like, will there be another time? That's one of the major 
questions that come into all of this. Will there be another time skip? Because a time skip is one of the major factors you've got to consider when it comes to Luffy and his age when he becomes Pirate King. So, Venge, you got anything to add to that? Oh my gosh. See, that's what makes answering your previous question so difficult. Because of the <laughs> fact that you don't necessarily know exactly where Oda is going to go with this story. Especially in regards to pacing. Because, like, everyone predicted that One Piece would probably be done in another year or so. Or, and some people believe that it's going to go on farther than that. It's really hard to tell because of how thorough um oda is when it comes to his writing and not only that but the abilities the abilities that like uh, so many characters have in this series it it varies because like there are ridiculous abilities there are even abilities that we just learned about in the previous chapter not the chapter that just been revealed but the previous chapter of One Piece. And I think that's something that I definitely will be talking about strongly on my channel real soon with Dr. Blick. So I'll make sure to let you guys know about that when that comes out. Because like, there's a character, Dogtooth, that literally has the ability to see the future. And because of that one part, that literally opens up a whole new gate of possibilities and it makes you wonder will there be some kind of land or some kind of island that's going to have some kind of strange time parrot it creates some kind of strange increase in time or something like that like one piece has what a time chamber for me yeah like some sick like one piece has these moments where there's these things that happen that just does not it's not normal just like just <laughs> like here's a good example of this like uh you know with the punk hazard and everything right an island that literally is half ice and half fire just because of the clash between okiji and akainu it, it's it's hard to say it's like Will there be some kind of age boost due to properties of an island? Or is it just that maybe they're just going to do like like you said, maybe they might there might be a time skip in order to keep up with the pacing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You never hey, know. Ben, there's nothing, uh, ben, there's nothing you go keep in mind. Like when you were using the whole island as a standpoint, like look at Zoe. It's, it's basically an elephant with an island on his back and the island's not in the same position because Zoe keeps on moving. So in terms of creativity, Oda does have that. And like you said, we don't know the pace and the way he's going to go with the story. Like, even with the Aquaman, we don't even know what's going to happen. Everyone's clueless to what's going to happen. So it's all iffy in terms of the direction that he's going to go. But from a story point standpoint, from a standpoint of building attachment to the characters, from a standpoint of seeing the progression, Luffy aging is key, but then you got to factor into account, like, pre-time skip. Think about all the events that happened before the time skip. And all of this was in one year. Think about it. It was in, like, in a one year to 18 months, around about that amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the so much happened in that, in that, in them 18 months to uh, pretty much a year, depending on, like, how long that was. It's real, it wasn't more than, it wasn't more than 18 months, in my, in my opinion. But think about all the events that have happened, like, Rob Lucci. Um, the stuff with, um, cro with, um, Crocodile, them getting a ship, how many crew members they've joined, um, him taking down so many people, all of that stuff happened in such a short space of time that it really does depend on the pacing and how Oda does extend time and how it, how hard it is to find a One Piece because, because, like, we know that you have to find, um, you have to find, uh, the Poneglyphs, bro, like, you, you like, like, be able to read them so you can find Raftar and Raftar's where they want. We, we know all of that. But it all depends on how much time is going to evolve with, with all this. Like, is there going to be a time be between each thing that happens? Like, it all depends. Like you said, the agent of the island is one of the, is one of the key things. And I don't want to dive too much into time. Because this is going to come into the next video that me and you are planning. But, you got anything else to add towards what I've just said? Um, I think that pretty much sums it up because like that there's just a lot of uncertainty like every especially now like 
it's like even the people that were certain that they had a good grasp on what's going on, especially when you think about the theorists that are out there, why even those guys are struggling to come up with a concrete idea as to how all of this is going to play out. It's this is one of the most engaging things about One Piece is the fact that uh, is its complexity, its overall complexity and the abilities that all of these different characters have. It's like the combination of the abilities, the way the story is structured. Um it, it's hard to figure out what's going to happen next. Exactly. Um guys, I think this has been the video. Like I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. Do you think Luffy is too young to become Pirate King? If so, tell us why. If you don't, tell us why as well. And yeah, let me just wrap up this video. Make sure you also check out Vengeful's channel. Link will be in the description below. And also with that Will of D video, if you want to know what Vengeful's thoughts on how the Will of D works. But anyways, let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please hit like, rate, and enjoy this video. And yeah, I'll catch you next one, guys. Bye. Peace. Whew. Jesus.